when I first came here, I'd worked for Bechtel all over the world. I worked in, in, in uh, the Far East and the Middle East, uh, and uh, I uh, was never able, a, a, a typical Bechtel project is one to two years, then you go somewhere else, you know. And the thought of getting off the road, I lived in Denver, but my projects were in New York City. So I wanted to get off the road so bad, you know, I said, please just get me off the road. I don't care where you sit. And they said, what about Richland? Uh, I knew a little bit about the project because Bechtel had just won the project. Uh, but I didn't know anything about the city, you know. But I was born in a small town, Hope, Arkansas, uh, raised in Little Rock and outside of Atlanta. So I like obviously like small towns, and I lived and worked for Bechtel in some of the worst places and the biggest places, New York City, Kuala Lumpur, you know, things like that. So the I thought of getting back here in a small town, uh, I really wanted to do. And I had never been able to get involved in politics because I was not there very long. Uh, so when I first came here, the first thing I did was I got uh, on the uh, Housing Community Development Board. Stayed on that for a couple of years, and then uh, uh, the opening came up in the Parks and Recreation Commission, and I went on that commission. But uh, it was a great training ground to see what politics and small town politics in particular is all about. Uh, every wannabe uh, city council person, and me, and I'm sure included, uh, always say that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, you know. Well, I, as an individual city council member, can do absolutely nothing on my own in our form of government, because our form of government, our city manager, is the boss of the, of the city. She's our only one employee, so she runs the day-to-day -day operation. We work with, with her. Uh, she doesn't work for us. We work with her on budgets and policy issues, you know. 